Valley. Leaving the paddock, we follow the cars to the pit area where all the last minute preparations will be made. Out they come, one by one, wheeled by mechanics whose enthusiasm and devotion to duty knows no limits. Men who will work all night between practice and race day in order to get their cars to the starting line. There is colour, colour everywhere as the cars stand wheel to wheel awaiting the warming up lap. The red of Italy, blue of France, yellow of Belgium, green of Britain, yes, they all blend beneath the fluttering flags of competing nations to give an air of pageantry unequalled in any sport. Checking goes on, engines warm up, and the spring air is filled with the tang of burning fuel and oil in these last few hectic minutes. And now on the line we see Reg Parnell, who has paid the compliment of being handed the fourth car of the Alpha team. Having made the fastest time in practice, the Alpha drivers were all in the front line, and as their mechanics change the practice plugs, the tension before the start builds up. Soon, starter motors will be connected, and with a mighty roar, the cars will be away for the first of 70 laps, leaving only smoke in the air and tire marks on the track. Already having covered only the first lap of just under three miles, the Alphas are in strict line of stand positions, one, two, three and four, followed by the rest of the field closely grouped together. Now move the corner which has been eased in radius in order that the drivers can use top and third speeds, the procession goes. Our camera gives a fine impression of speed as in the distance we see one of the course's fastest stretches, the uphill run to the fastest corner of all, Maggots, just before the finishing straight.